Welcome back friends, followers and transients to Kingdoms and Castles with me Vapor and the infrastructure update. Yes, <laughs> they have added some new stuff. So we got some uh, wood castle blocks uh, for a start. Uh, tall walls are harder for enemies to destroy. Hmm. Um, taller walls are harder for enemies to destroy immune to fire okay so walls are no longer going to set on fire that is fantastic so that's the first thing what else have we got we've got stone roads which cost um, gold as well as stone that's quite interesting but they allow people to move around a lot quicker which is going to be really really useful when we're looking at like food being moved around so i think the sort of paths that uh, your citizens take to get food from the granaries to the markets um I would probably convert them to stone first. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, statues here. We've also got this um, irrigation sort of thing. We've got an aqueduct, a reservoir, and like a um, like a water mill as well. Which, yeah, I'm not 100% sure how this works, but apparently it irrigates surrounding land. So I don't know if that just gives a plus to the farming areas or whether it turns the desert um, land into fertile land. It's something we're going to have to check out. Uh, I don't believe there's anything in here. No, but I did notice something purely by mistake. When you click on some of the buildings, boom, there's some more information. So fire risk is really low. It tells you who's working in here. Um, the gold. So we're getting a little bit more information. Same with the houses as well. So they've really been busy. Uh, what else have we got? I don't think I know they fixed a few like bugs in the background as well, but uh, yeah, it's all good It's rich. Yeah, I'm really happy. They've done this So I think just first off not that I need to because um, Actually, I'm just gonna address a comment in this comments probably from quite a while ago now because of a holiday and whatnot um, It was mentioned that these two are too far away from town. Why would I build them here? Oh, here comes my friends. Let me pause the game a second. Um, they're here um, to aid me in building the wall, basically. Because it makes sense. You're coming from over there. Ooh, this is probably going to get messy. Where are my soldiers? Where did I leave them? I thought I had more than this. Did we not have... We had loads, didn't we? I'm sure we had loads. Where have I left them? Um, well, that's a little bit worrying. I'm sure the last episode we, we had tons. Um, oh, I don't know if that's a bug or something then. Well, that's a little bit concerning. <laughs> right, okay. We're just going to have to deal with that. They were down here. I'm pretty sure there was just... Like, there was loads of them, unless... My memory just isn't serving me. Okay, no problem. What have we got coming in anyway? An ogre, an ogre, an ogre, an ogre. Three ships. Any more ships? Another one? Oh, this is going to be terrible. Oh, and another one. Oh, this is going to be messy. And another. Oh, my goodness. Where's all my soldiers gone? That is really annoying. Um... What have we got in here? Stored ready to use. Um, missing translation. Oh, we got a bit of a mistake here. Let's um, we've got nine available, but geez. and we got some spare people. I think those twenty people were my soldiers, and the game has just decided to wipe them out, which is slightly annoying. Um, what can you do though? How are we producing tools? Let's switch to armaments because we're going to need some more of those now. Clearly. Oh my good oh my goodness what so we got one two three four ogres one two three four five six seven ships damn that is unbelievable yeah if any more spawn in I've not got a chance let me move you guys backwards a little bit hopefully uh, we can deal with them. Uh, this is going to be and probably best to send these guys over here to deal with the soldiers. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to go down. 
like I say, we we should have had more soldiers in this, but we'll we'll do what we can. Okay, did we just wipe all those out instantly? Well, that's what we like. And Ogres destroyed a castle block, so we've. Oh, we didn't actually kill the uh, the main chief, but that's fine. We're going to take this chief out here. I'm really, really hoping... Yep, yeah, there goes one boat. I'm hoping these ogres get taken out. Right, where are the soldiers? Right, they're coming over here. If I put you in here... Well, there goes one ogre. Ah, oh, that one got through. Um, if I click these guys, send you over here. Can you recruit? You're not close enough. There we go. A few more soldiers coming in here. Let's try and help take this ogre out. I don't know if it's going to help very much. They're taking quite a beating. I think these towers are going to collapse, though. Is that one gone? But this one is still going. Hopefully he... He's... Oh, we were so lucky there. Let's wipe these guys out. I think, considering we're doing reasonably well, he's managed to pinch someone. That's the only downside. <laughs> he's going to run off with them. Um, we took all the soldiers out there. That's brilliant. Which way are they going? I could Realistically, I should probably take him out, but I'm more interested in these larger congregations of soldiers. Where's the other ones? Are they leaving? Oh, they're having some kind of issue. Okay, no problem. Thankfully, we've got some archers towers coming in here. These should get repaired as well, which is really good. Have we took him out? I'm waiting for that red flag to collapse. I think it did. It went down. Excellent. Let's take these guys. I think we've been very fortunate. Those ships... Okay, they've not made landfall yet, but they're going to land over this side by the looks of it. Oh, so you can actually click on them now, so they'll chase. I don't think you could do that before. Take this guy out. There is some archers firing this way. Oh, not archers. Um, ballistas. Okay, you guys are coming over here. That's fine. It looks like the tower... No, it hasn't been fixed yet, but we're going to recruit a couple more soldiers. Fantastic. Right, you guys are going to do what? Okay. See, me, that's really bright, isn't it? That is almost blinding. I don't know what's going on there. Are they going to try and swim across the water? They are. Oh, that could be their doom. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to send my soldiers in after them. I'm hoping all the archers towers here and things are going to take them out. Well, maybe not though. Well, I can hear people screaming. That's never a good sign. I would have thought with all this defense, we would have... Um, we would have flattened them. Trying to set fire to my hospital, and they have. Wow, look, think about all the firepower here, and it's really not causing that much damage. Which is a little bit worrying. Okay, there's no point watching those anymore. Uh, we'll send you guys here for the moment. Um, I'm not going to concern myself about fixing this stuff right now. We're doing it okay for gold. Let's have a look at the stone roads. I don't think you can click on these and upgrade, can you? No, that would have been really cool. Can I build on top of them? You can. Very smart thinking there, devs. Wonderful. That's what I like. So this is going to cost me some gold, but... It's worth it. So I was wondering what the uh, the message was. The tooltips have been upgraded as well. This is also going to make it look a little bit nicer. I know a few of you have said the markets over here are a little bit redundant, but they won't be um, as we move forward. It feels like the music is playing on, on top of itself. we still got the, uh, the fighting music going on in the background. Right, um, so we'll leave them to build. How are we doing for food? Because I've not really been paying attention to that. Okay. Are these guys full? 450, 450, and 450. All of those ones are full. Okay. So where are these guys getting their food from? This one. 
Hmm. We probably need another another granary over here, dare I say it. Okay, let's let's chuck that in while we're okay, we need some roads. We may as well go with with stone roads, seeing as uh we've been working on that. The music is really bugging me. Let's see if uh, that makes a difference. Sometimes it does. I think it has. No? Yeah, I think it has. I, I can't quite tell, but it does still feels like it's overlapping a little bit. Um, Farah's claimed a mana. No, that's not what we needed. Um, I'm just trying to think of some other stuff that came up. Let's see if we need to remove that to put the mana back. Yeah, we do. That's unfortunate. It'd be nice if we could just build on top of these because it serves no purpose to uh, demolish them every time. It's not like you have to wait for someone to come and do it. Let's drop you in there. I believe they increased. Or maybe it's not been, been done yet. I think it is. There is three. Um, I think they've added an extra um, worker to the forester huts. And, and now what happens is they plant trees on squares that don't have trees. <laughs> Seems strange. One just did it there, I think. But before they didn't, they would only ever plant trees on squares um, that had trees before. So that's kind of cool. That should make them a little bit more productive. Let's have a look at this road. I don't get why it's so bright. It's really bright. In fact, it should be snowy. There's no snow, is there? It's just kind of yellow. Maybe that's a glitch. There was a little bit of a patch before I started the game. I don't know if that was the infrastructure update. I don't know how long it's been out. I knew it was coming. Um, but yeah, I wasn't not too sure if it was just now. Maybe that's just a, an unfortunate bug. What else have we got going on? Gold. Okay, we want to look at the... Uh, provides water to aqueducts and reservoirs. Okay, well that is quite the structure. Does it have to be in the sea, I'm guessing? Yes. Right, this is un unfertile, infertile land, so the question is, can you build a wall up to that? Let's let's drop that in there. No idle workers available. I really am wondering if if it's classed as a defensible structure. It kind of looks like it should. Right, let's uh whack the speed up. Uh, one peasant has left the kingdom. Oh, yeah, let's get some happiness going up in here. Uh, let's have a festival. Yeah, it's the recently homeless thing that has caused the problem there. But that's, that's fine, because uh, we'll have this up and running soon. And um, what have you guys got to say for yourselves? Nothing too much. Okay, and I think we were, yeah, we were ready to clear one of these, weren't we? A complete removal. Boom. I think that's why we were making tools, wasn't it? Yes. So if we switch back to tools again. I know we're going to need to build more armies and stuff, but... I'm intrigued as to whether or not... Just building armies is the thing that we should be doing. Because I, I almost feel like these... I think all of the turrets up here, and it took so long. Wow, look how quick they move on that road. <laughs> um, yeah, it took them quite a while to take out those two little... Um, Batches of uh, soldiers. Jeez, they move so quick. Stone roads are definitely the way forward. Wow. That's going to mean you, we can put our granaries pretty much anywhere we want. You can see them slow down as they hit the normal road as well. It's, it's kind of funny. Oh, that's much better. And they look nice as well. I must say, it's a shame there's still not much in the way of decorative stuff. Okay, there is the statues. I get that. Food is looking good. Let's build them. Um, let's build some more houses. This food is food is right up there, isn't it? So, have I done that right? Maybe not. Two. Why does that look slightly off? I might. One there, one there, one there, one there. Um, ah, it's because of the... Okay, that's fine. It's because of the bridge. But that bridge will be going, so that's not a problem. Uh, let's actually give them some way of... walking <laughs> out of their house. That'd be quite nice. Wow, that's building super quick. At the rate at which food is going to get moved around now, this should be 
really interesting to see what happens. This one's probably going to be full soon. It is full. They're going to run to this one. They are. And because they move so quick, I feel like there's going to be less loss. Less loss? Yes. How are we getting on here? Two more wood. Bingo. There isn't enough staff. That's fine. A dragon. I'm going to ignore the dragon. I'm just, yeah, wondering about the... As long as they can't walk through that, but I have a feeling... Yeah, the reservoir has to connect to one of these pieces, so that's going to be very hard to defend, isn't it? Interesting. So the aqueduct should... If we kind of do this... Let's take you out. And you. And we also need a reservoir. Um, stores water and provides irrigation. Irrigate surrounding land. Okay, so you don't necessarily need the reservoir, I don't think, really. I mean, what do you make of that? This is the thing. Well, that produces the water. That sends it um, to the land where you need it. And this one just says it stores it, so... Interesting. I'm not too sure, but it'll be interesting to watch that land go green. Although it's going to go this really strange bright white uh, before that happens. This building, I'm potentially going to take away. And this rock. Can we, um... I haven't got enough... What on earth was that noise? Okay. Pass, I'm not sure. Or maybe it's these things, okay. <laughs> it's loads of new sound effects. And I, it's kind of weird, because I'm not actually clicking on any of those. So charcoal is really good. Uh, iron is quite high. We have 153 armaments. When did that happen? Blacksmith. Okay. He is making tools. That's fine. So much is going on. I'm, I'm intrigued in this. Oh, aha, it's got water in it now. So it doesn't happen instantly. Although it had nobody working in there, did it? Um, this takes five people. And it costs gold to pay them as well. Right, I see. So this... Irrigate surrounding land when connected to Anoria and other aqueducts. Does it happen instantaneously? Maybe not. Let's... Too far away from our roads. Yeah, you would do that to me, wouldn't you? Um, that's a little bit annoying. Okay, let's put... Let's put one of you there, because that land is fertile. Let's run some aqueducts along here. Now, the thing is, this almost... It takes up a space as well, so it is going to irrigate. It depends on how far it's going to irrigate as to whether it would be worth it. Because if it only irrigates one either side, you're still losing a quite a bit of uh, land. I'd like to see it irrigate at least two or three squares from it. Wow, look at all that stone there pinching from there. See, this is why I have this here. The music is having some kind of strange issues as well. I'm guessing this is just live now, so it's potentially why why there's a few bugs, but uh I'll feed back some uh, to the devs. Was it a translation um error? Was that in a house or something? I can't remember what it, what I clicked on now. Um Oh wow, we're, we're getting absolutely overwhelmed with music. I think the best thing to do there is... Oh, peace and quiet. <laughs> I couldn't deal with that much longer. Right, let's whack the speed up. I'm really curious to see how this works. But we've got to get all this in first. We're actually wasting food. Right. I, they must have tweaked the food a little bit because we've got now more food than than we had before so i'm gonna put some of these back in here because they're gonna get filled up instantly and these guys are gonna drag the food absolutely nuts so they've definitely changed quite a bit because we were struggling for food at one point uh gold is also uh maxed out which is fine i can uh i'll spend that soon enough come on guys hurry up with this i want to see and we got 30 idle workers, so we could actually recruit some soldiers if we, if we so wished. Bit more stone. Bingo. Oh, 
yeah, look, it went green. So I didn't need the reservoir first, but it's only done one either side. But did it make this one even more fertile? Hmm. Let's see what happens. Let's do an aqueduct this way. I'm interested to see if this one goes darker green. So that is fertile. This one is very fertile, receiving irrigation. Okay, so barren, fertile, very fertile. Oh, wait a minute, receiving irrigation. What? So the range is really far, it just doesn't show you. Oh, yes, it does. It's the reservoir that irrigates the land. So this says irrigate surrounding land when connected to a noria or other aqueducts. But it's the reservoir that is actually providing the area of effect, as you can see uh, for this line. So you don't necessarily need all these reservoirs. Aha, we have learned something. Excellent. So where does that edge? It's kind of coming up here, isn't it? Yep. Okay, so this one is very fertile. So what about the other dark green squares? Is that still exactly the same? The only difference is it's receiving irrigation. And that's give a plus one food because of the irrigation. So it's more about where you place your reservoirs than anything. But at least we've learnt. Does that cover in this? It's not going to cover this area. So technically speaking, once they're built, this will not be receiving irrigation. Let's have a look. Unless it, it maybe extends the area. No, it's still barren. So it is definitely the reservoir. Aha. I love it when I figure something out. Anyway, on that note, I think I'm going to leave this episode right here. Let me know what you think in the comments about the things that they've added. I think uh, it's quite interesting. They've clearly done some work on the food. Because uh, we certainly have a lot of that now. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. But until next time, as always, take care.